probably the toughest endurance race in the world. You're, you're battling against 50, 60 below zero, wide out conditions. You're out there in the middle of nowhere, there's checkpoints that you could be 100, 100 miles from and you're out there in the elements. If it's snowing, if it's blowing, if it's raining, if it's open water, we don't quit. We just go. You're traveling across the state of Alaska and back in a week. It's an awesome race. Alaska has some of the most talented riders. There's, there's a lot of very, very talented riders up here. These guys come up from the States and they think, you know, we could go up and do that. And you know, time after time, it just keeps showing that these guys from the States, they just have no idea what it's about. I, I've yet to see a guy from the States come up and do extremely well in this race. We're a whole different breed of people up here. There's tough, and then there's Alaskan. The thing that I worry most about while racing in the Iron Dog is if we have a mechanical failure. If you break down, I mean, you're you're in trouble right now. That ski on a plane, that way. You don't take your gloves off because they freeze instantly when you take them off. There's just, there's no room for air. It changes no matter, you think there's no possible way it's gonna get flip floppy and people start breaking stuff. The most difficult part of the trail is that first day from Big Lake to McGrath. 360 miles of rough terrain. The first day is almost survival, like get through it. Kind of doing everything from one end of the spectrum of riding to the other. You're not gonna give up anything. You don't expect them to give up anything. If you can beat them to the pumps, you beat them to the pumps. If you gotta push them out on a corner to, to get it in front of them, then that's what you do. We get on these sleds and it's it's on. I mean, you know, we're there is no friendships in the Iron Dog once that flag drops. Nick and I are really aggressive. There's nobody that trains harder than we do, so there's a lot of envy maybe from the other teams, I think. We're hoping to be the second all women's pro team to cross the finish line. That right there is that that's our goal and that for us will be a huge accomplishment. I've been fairly successful in everything I did from X Games to Snowcross. Last year we, we were uh, second in the Nome, and it was like, yeah, that's, that's, it's good, but it's not where we want to be. We're, we're here to win. Iron Dog is just one of them things where it's such a, a manly race. Like, there's just so much man element to it. There's a, obviously a great amount of danger when you're trying to cross 2,100 miles of country. You know, most people would look at it and say, you're absolutely insane to take a snowmobile 400 miles a day, five days in a row. People just look at us like we're just crazy. Why would you want to spend money to go out and beat the hell out of your body, possibly get killed and go bankrupt over it? Why, why would you want to do something like that? <laughs>